Yeah. All right. This next guy is his very first time here at the Tempe Improv doing this. Yeah. Come on. Give him a lot of love. Please welcome Ernie Green. How's it going, everybody? So I've had a rough couple days. Uh, yesterday I wake up and my uh, left eye was all jacked up. I uh, went to the doctor and he said, you have a uh, coronal um, ulcer. In layman's terms, that's God's way of saying, do not do stand-up comedy for your career. <laughs> hey, dude, listen up. When I said I would give up my left eye for stand-up comedy, it was a figure of speech, man. All right? So. As you can tell, like, I'm not really into religion. Like, it's whatever. I mean, I don't have anything against it. But uh, the people that weird me out is Al-Qaeda, because they run airplanes into buildings in order to obtain virgins, which I find odd, because I want to run myself into a building when I'm with a virgin. <laughs> so. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you guys know what I say to virgins? Thanks for nothing. <laughs> so. I told this girl this uh, story. I told this girl at work about this, and she was a virgin. And she's all upset, and she's like, "Come on, you shouldn't say that. Do you know what it's like to walk a mile in my shoes?" I'm like, "Have you looked at me? I don't know what it's like to walk a mile in my shoes, okay?" <laughs> so, this is my first show, and every time you do something for the first time, like all your friends, they want to help you out and they want to, you know, give you some advice. And my one friend runs up to me the other day, he goes, "Hey, listen, Ernie, what you got to do is tell your best jokes." <laughs> I'm. I'm sure glad I had that master strategist on hand, huh? <laughs> if he was just born 175 years earlier, he could have helped the South win the Civil War. <laughs> now, now, guys, let's shoot at the blue coats, okay? Let's get after them. So, I've had no luck in the dating uh, scene lately. I went to the grocery store the other day, got my groceries, hadn't said a word. I walk up to the cashier, the cashier says to me, I just want to be friends. <laughs> I was at the automatic checkout line. So another girl, I was, I was uh, asked the girl out, said, hey, do you want to hang out sometime? And she's like, uh, I just don't respect what you do for a living. It was my coworker. <laughs> Tough time. So uh, anyway, did you guys hear uh, Sarah Palin moving to Scottsdale? Yeah, boo, I agree. Just what that town needs, huh? Another over, over 40 bimbo delusion over self-worth. <laughs> so all groany, groan, groan. So, and her daughter Bristol was on something called Dancing with the Stars. Now, as ridiculous as it is to have that nobody be called in something Dancing with the Stars, should we really be encouraging single moms to turn to dancing for a career? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Bristol. Bristol claims in her autobiography that the first time when she lost her virginity, she didn't know she can get drunk off wine coolers, and it's the only reason she did it, but there was no foul play, and because she did it once, she might as well do it over and over again. <laughs> so Virgin Mary had a more believable story. <laughs> so, in other news about that, you guys hear Casey Anthony might be moving to Scottsdale too? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's, I, don't, I don't want her to move either, but guys, if you think about it, a single mom who neglects her kids to party, she'll fit right in. <laughs> So, and it's not just, you know, thank you, thank you. And it's not just, you know, those kind of parents are bad. All parents are bad. And, like, it's gotten, it's gotten to the point now where the, uh, some restaurants are banning kids that are six and under from restaurants. They, they, just go, they just run amok and they go crazy. And, yeah, who's right? I agree. The, yeah, the people they have to the ban from restaurants first are couples that sit on the same side of the booth as one another. <laughs> Tell me they are, they are not the most annoying people on the face of the earth. Yeah, who's right? That's right. You ever, you ever see them? Like, the girl's on there. She's smiling like it's the greatest day of her life. Like, she just won the Super Bowl. You're going to see, like, the soul getting sucked out of a guy's eyes. Like, he's a, you know, like he's a fan of the Buffalo Bills and he's watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. If anybody knows what it's like to watch the Super Bowl and fan of the Buffalo Bills, it'd be a fan of the Buffalo Bills, trust me. And it's you people out there who are, like, all upset because I'm making fun of couples sitting on the same side of the booth. First of all, I, nobody wants to see you with your public displays of affection, okay? Just get over yourself. Number two, you're not more in love with anybody else, any other couple, because you sacrifice elbow room. <laughs> all right? And you talk like this. 
how are you doing, honey? How was your dinner? How was your dinner? Okay. The only people with benefits, this is chiropractor. You ever go to a chiropractor's office, they can like tell how long you've been doing this. They're like, well, if you see here, this guy has a bulging disc in his neck and his uh, vertebrae is uh, a little bit out of line. So what I got to say here is that uh, Jimmy, he's been ripped for about eight months. Uh, <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you very much. First time, come on, dude.